Hi, my name is PJ Homertz and I'm the International Short-Term Program Director. I'd like to thank you for taking a few minutes to watch this video. I believe that our short-term program can help you be more effective in your work as well as broaden the impact of what you're doing. In the next few minutes, I'd like to look at a few topics. First of all, an overview of our short-term program. Second, some common objections that people have to short-term. Third, the ways that short-term can help you be more effective and broaden your impact. And finally, how you can request a short-termer and participate in the short-term program. So let's take a look at these things now. The vision of the short-term program is catalyzing future cross-cultural workers while enriching the current work that's happening on the field. I believe that short-term work can enrich your ministry as well as catalyze the next generation. And I know that it can seem overwhelming to you to think about bringing somebody else out to help you with your work. You're busy. You are very busy. I understand that. And that's where we come in. We really exist as a short-term program to support you, to enrich your ministry through short-term help, which I believe will lead to the catalyzation of the next generation of full-time workers. So we do this in six ways. First, we do this through effective ministry support. We want to work with you to make sure that any short-termer that comes with you truly enriches your ministry. Second, we do it through strategic recruitment. We have people all over the world that can help find the right person for the right need. Third, we do it through comprehensive vetting. We want to make sure that the person that comes is truly the right person to do the type of work that you need done. Fourth, through appropriate preparation. We facilitate a comprehensive orientation before short-termers ever leave their home country. We want to make sure that they come equipped with the right information to help you in your work. Fifth, through operational support. We're there to ensure that you get the most benefit out of your short-termer, as well as to help you should any issues arise. Number six, continued engagement. We work hard to make sure that the investment that you put into your short-termer will continue to grow even when they return to their home country. Now, I'd like to also look at some common objections to short-term. First of all, short-term is too short. We like to make sure that our short-termers are in a location long enough for them to feel settled in as well as to make a contribution to the area where they're working. We realize that Different short-term opportunities require different time frames. There are some places where a two-week short-term can actually be just the right amount of time. Things like site visits, vision trips, dream teams, or even coming out to help out with a conference. However, most of our short-term opportunities last between two months and one year. We do this to ensure that the short-termer is on site long enough to begin to work on language, to connect with people, to understand what the work looks like, and hopefully to make a significant contribution while they're there. I think it's important for us to remember when we're talking about time frames, the amount of things that God can do in a short time. We should never forget that our founder was actually only in Africa for 14 months. I think that this tells us something about the amount of work that God can do in a very short time. The second common objection, short-termers are a lot of work. Well, to be fair, they do bring a bit of extra work. This is particularly the case when you're setting up for a short-termer to come and when they first arrive. Once a short-termer is established in your area, generally you'll find that they are a great help and encouragement to your ministry. Think of a short-termer like a fruit tree. Generally, when you plant a fruit tree, it takes a little bit of work at the beginning to prep the soil and to plant the tree. However, over time, as the tree grows and establishes, you'll get a great harvest of fruit from that tree. The third common objection is, I don't want somebody living with me. And again, that's a valid objection. 
And while there are some places where having a short-termer means having a long-term house guest, I've found that most of our locations were able to find some sort of alternate housing that allows for some space between you and your short-termer. So, how can a short-termer help you? First of all, a short-termer can free you up to focus on other things. Are there things that you do that with a little help and training, somebody else could do for you? If a short-termer can come and help take care of some of these other areas to allow you to focus on the things that only you can do, that's a great win for you. Second, they can expand your work. Are there things that you would like to do, but you just don't have the skills to accomplish? Well, we can find a short-termer that has those skills that can come and help to expand the things that you are doing by bringing those skills to help you. Here are some examples of ways that short-termers have been able to come and help full-time people do their work. We have teachers, homeschool teachers, English teachers, theological educators, practical skill teachers, doctors, doctors that can come and do support for filling in or other doctors who come and do training for people, ministry support, discipleship, youth work, children's ministries, child care, small group Bible studies. Sometimes we need people with specialty skills, people like accountants or administrators or media people who have the skills to make videos and take photos of the work that you're doing, or even people with specialty construction skills. Whatever kind of person that you need to expand your work, we will try to find for you. I remember one time when we had a concrete specialist who came to serve as a short-termer. He was a huge blessing to a family that was building a house in the middle of the desert and needed just the right mix of concrete in order to build their house well. Third, short-term gives you an opportunity to extend your impact through mentoring and training. Have you ever thought about being able to pour deeply into the life of someone who is uniquely interested in the type of work that you're doing? By hosting a short-termer, you have the opportunity to mentor and train the next generation of cross-cultural workers. In addition to the impact that you can have on the short-termer, the short-termer can have a great impact on your ministry by opening doors to new people and new places within your community. As they come and develop relationships, you'll find that there may be new opportunities that you have because they came and were able to invest relationally in others. Now, if you're ready to be freed up to focus on other things, to expand your work, and to extend your impact, then it might be time for you to request a short-termer. We have people all over the world that can help you find them, screen them, prepare them, and get them ready to come and serve you. We will give you resources to help make your time with your short-termer as effective as possible. And we'll work with you to arrange the necessary logistics to make sure that setting up for your short-termer doesn't create too much of an extra burden on you or your work. How can you participate in the short-term program. First, you'll want to talk with your unit leader. Share with them how you can utilize a short-termer, and then either they or the regional office or department will contact you in order to get the process started of receiving short-term help. The process of receiving short-term help is in five steps. First, you'll need to fill out a requisition form. This form will give us all the information that we need to find the right short-termer to help you. The more information that you give us, the better job we can do of finding the right short-termer. Second, it would be really helpful if you could provide us with some photos, maybe even videos of your work so that we could share that with potential short-termers and cast a vision of the work that they would do with you. Third, we'll work with you to create a budget for your short-termer to ensure that they raise sufficient funds and don't become a financial burden to you or your work. Fourth, We'll have you fill out a packing list for your short-termer. This is a simple list and it only takes five to ten minutes for you to fill out, but it'll make sure that your short-termer brings the right things. Fifth, we'll have you give the final approval on the short-termer who is coming to serve with you. We want to make sure that you're fully on board with this person and have an opportunity to get to know them before they come, to make sure that it's a good fit and that they'll be able to help you as effectively as possible. And that's it. When the short-termer arrives, you'll need to help them settle into the area and give them an orientation to your work. But 
During your time together, you'll have an opportunity to pour into their lives and they'll come ready to invest in you as well, to serve you and to pour their life into the work that you're doing. I truly believe that we have a great short-term program. We're looking forward to working with you to enrich the work that you are doing and together to catalyze the next generation of cross-cultural workers. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. If you'd like more information, feel free to contact your local departmental or regional office, or you can contact me directly. I'd love to chat with you more about the short-term program. We're always looking for ways to improve things, and if you have ideas or comments, I'd love to hear those. For now, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this and helping us to enrich your work and at the same time catalyze the next generation of cross-cultural workers. If you'd like to see more things about the short-term program, you can keep your eye right here on this YouTube channel and hopefully you'll see some more content coming out soon.